welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about body friendships. I think it is important for us to establish what are friendships. So friendships, in my opinion, are lifelong companionships that you have with someone that you continually communicate with and encourage one another and just basically be there for each other. So now that we've established what are friendships, what are godly friendships? of what godly friendships are you need to actually understand god's word and have a solid relationship with god by yourself so that you can know exactly what to expect in a godly friendship so the standard to what a godly friendship is is based on your personal relationship with god if you are continually studying god's word by yourself without a friend or anything you get to discover and understand god's perspective so you look at life according to how he sees life you look at people according to how he sees them. There are certain attributes and characters that we look out for in people. You know sometimes you can meet someone and be like, this person is nice, this person is kind, this person is, you know, the vibe. But is that person meant to be in your life? Did God design or plan for that person to be part of your life? So that's the most important question. I'll leave you with that for now. Let's have a look at John you are my friends if you do what I command. So if you want to be a friend of Jesus, you have to follow his commandments. You have to act out what he has already told you to do. And in doing so, he gives you provision. In doing so, you are able to walk consistently with God. Abraham got the title of God's friend because he was constantly acting upon what God told him. So if you want to be a friend of God, you also have to be friends God's word. It has to literally become your best friend first before you go around seeking for the right friend. So what do I mean by right friend? Like what do I mean by godly friendships that are right? So the term right here means that this person or this friend or this friendship that you have, it is building you up in the word of God. It is helping you grow better, grow to know God better. So it comes from a personal standpoint where you establish a relationship with God by yourself before you even have friends involved, such that when they come into your life, you are able to continue that, but to a greater extent. You know, for example, in my previous video, I talked about Rose, who was a friend that I was inspired by. You know, I was inspired by how she read God's word and I wanted to become just like her. And because of that, I ended up studying God's word as much as she did. So a friendship, godly friendship has to build you up. It has to encourage you to want to study God's word more, to want to do the things of God more effectively. What I'm saying is befriend God's word. That is number one. Befriend God's word more than anything else. Study God's word first. And after you have a relationship with God, it is easy for the Holy Spirit to help you discern if you have the right company around you, if you have the right people in your atmosphere. But if you're not studying God's word, the Holy Spirit can only remind you of things that you know, not things that you don't know. You're not gonna magically wake up and know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. <laughs> you have to actually intentionally study it and intentionally get to know God's word. So, that the Holy Spirit can be able to guide you, remind you of things that you read, that, you know, bad character corrupts good morals. So I have to be around the right people. I have to be around godly people that are walking in the same direction that I am in. Another important thing is you have to be both on the same spiritual level because the Bible teaches us about an equal yoke. So say, for example, my friend only reads the Bible like when they want to or when they can. And whereas I read the Bible like, I read a chapter a day or even two chapters a day that friendship is not going to be very very successful because we ought to be building each other up we ought to be you know when we link up with discussing god's word we are you know discussing what we've learned from god's word whereas when you really read one scripture you're not diving into god's word that's just you reading it just so that you can take off somewhere that you did read the bible but when you effectively study it you have to actually intentionally love doing it such that when you meet your friends now you're having a young discussion you know about the book of acts and empowering each other and inspiring each other to do the work of the ministry to do the work of the lord the scenario so say for example you are in a university in a country where nobody knows you so like say you went to study abroad 
and you get there you don't know anybody of course you have to make new friends right like you want to have people around you but as a christian you don't go up and approach people and start you know befriending them they ought to be influenced and inspired by how you live by the way that you conduct yourself they have to come to you because it's either you are being influenced or you're the influencer so in christ we're called to influence the world we're called to be the light of the world you're supposed to shine so when people see us they're like mm, there's something different about her there's something different about how she studies how she talks how she relates with people and how she can love everybody genuinely so with that said you don't go around chasing friendships because you have all things the bible says in psalms 23 that the lord is your shepherd and you have everything that you could ever want so even that friendship that you desire even those bonds that you desire you already have them inside you all you have to do is continually study god's word and trust that god will give you the right people in your circle and he surely will do so these are these are questions that you can ask yourself like if you already have a group of friends you can do an introspection and just discover if these friends are good for you and it's quite simple the first question you have to ask yourself is do my friends have a personal relationship with god because if they don't they won't be able to pull out what is within them they won't be able to give me the right counsel or the right guidance because when i come to them with the problem or i tell them that this is going on they have to direct me from god's word they have to direct me from the perspective of god's word in as much as yes i have the holy spirit who's there to do the same but my friends ought to be the first one to say hey get into the word go back and pray do not say for example someone makes me upset my friend shouldn't tell me go give them a piece of your mind go and beat them up go and tell them go and show them who you are no my friends are supposed to tell me calm down pray about it pray about this person show them love show them love because the bible says love conquers everything so even if this person makes me angry or made me angry i'm still supposed to love them in the same way that god loved us even when we were sinners so that's the first question do your friends have a personal relationship with god if they don't you can assist them to build this relationship if they're not willing to then you've tried you gotta cut them off i said what i said and then secondly you have to ask yourself are these relationships helping me are they building me up are they making me a better person better yet like are they making me a better christian of course we have our own personal journeys but our friends play an effective role in who we become because show me your friends and i'll show you your future so those are the questions that i have for you today thank you for watching this video right to the end subscribe do all that good stuff come on we will please ensure that you tell your friends to tell your friends to tell your friends to subscribe because it will put a smile on my face and yeah i love you guys so much i'll see you in the next one love and light so this was my cameraman for today <laughs> ah, thank you thank you so much thank you so much i'm so grateful Peace.